guys. I received a few more figures in the mail today. Uh, three 3.75 inch black series figures to be precise and this is obviously one of them. It's the first order executioner. So I'll give you a closer look at this figure and then I like doing my comparisons and then I'll compare him to the uh, Black Series Force Awakens First Order Stormtrooper. So this is, I think they reused a lot from the First uh, Force Awakens figure. The I'll, I'll get into the comparison later on. So as you can see there, he's got the um, as far as I know, it's called just the Executioner's Weapon. Which is, uh, I guess it's, it's well done. Paint apps on it. It does come in two parts. So, yeah, pretty good. It'll be interesting to see how much of a role these guys play in the movie. I don't think it'll be a big role, but... No. And for the figure... Pretty well done. The paint's a bit sloppy. That's a paint floor there. A few paint floors. One on the wrist there. And they... I never seem to be get, never seem to be able to get the paint right around the edges of the armor. It's a bit sloppy as well. But overall, it's not too bad. Now the head joint, the ball joint on mine is really loose, and um, you can't really get forward and back movement on it or side to side but it looks loose it's a little bit sloppy around the, the sort of brow area as well and on the shoulders isn't too bad it does have sort of that sort of articulation but I don't think you'd want to be doing that a lot because I can see the, the paint's already starting to rub on the top of the shoulder there as it goes under the chest armor or shoulder or the chest armor it contacts it so wouldn't do that too many times because I can see that paint rubbing off. So what's that articulation? Elbow articulation you can't quite get 90 degrees. Is on the wrists. No, you can't quite get 90 degrees on the knee articulation either. And the ankles are on hinges or ball hinges, and I still can't get that ankle colour right. Come on, Hasbro. Shocking. So anyway, to compare it to the Force Awakens First Order Stormtrooper, you can see the difference in the helmet design there, that black angular design piece on the front of the helmet is more angular and thinner on the, uh, the Last Jedi version. Apart from that, it's fairly similar. And at least on the figure, I think the shoulder's different, I don't know. Oh, the forearm design is different. Actually, no, I think I've got the wrong way. No, actually, I think the arms are the same. the forearms, 
shoulder armor. I can't tell. It looks a little bit different, but I can't tell. See the belt? At least the belts are painted different. The sculpt is the same though. The legs all look the same. The first, uh, the last Jedi executioner figure has the slot where you put the blasters in the leg as well, but it doesn't come with any blasters. So yeah, the legs are all the same. Maybe just a few different paint apps. All right, so that was the Hasbro Black Series 3.75 inch first order executioner figure. Can't wait to see these guys in action in the movie. Got my tickets for Thursday the 14th of December. I think it's a 10 o'clock session. So can't wait to see it. I'll do a, I don't know if I'll do a review video. I'll just maybe do a video giving some brief, brief thoughts about the movie afterwards. Non-spoilers of course, so. Uh, yeah, a, a, reason, a, a nice figure. A little bit of sloppy paintwork here and there. But nonetheless, a, a good addition to my 3.75 inch Last Jedi figure collection. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any comments down below, and may the Force be with you.